So today I want to talk about the current state of the gaming industry and a major trend that is taking place that I don't think many people are aware of. You see in the Western video game market right now, we are seeing basically the big studios all start to cut corners, scale back, and a lot of this has to do with the fact that their games just haven't been selling well. And you can go really into depth about breaking down all of the issues with the current gaming industry right now and the reason that all of these AAA studios are failing. However, I'm not going to do that. All I'm going to tell you is it's basically two things. Things. One, people just aren't happy with the games, and then two, the quality of the games have dropped dramatically. However, as Western studios start to scale down and are starting to get back to the basics of actually building fun games, there has been a trend going on that people really haven't been paying attention on, and that is basically the Asian invasion of the gaming community. And that is basically Asian studios moving into game genres that they have never been in before, and they're about to start taking a big portion of these game audiences from Western developers. You see, up until now, most of the time, Asian developers have kept mostly towards RPG games and online MMOs, and they have been highly successful in that genre, and they have built some of the most played games there are out there right now. However, like I said, they mostly kept to these genres. Every once in a while, you'd see a new FPS or a Battle Royale pop up. However, all of these games that were introduced they all ran well, however, they just felt completely lifeless. They just missed the magic and the fun that made the game they were trying to clone actually enjoyable. However, now, like I said, we are seeing studios based in the East that are actually starting to produce games that are starting to appeal to the Western audience. And what it looks like is these studios actually looked at the Western market. They looked at what games actually sold well, and then they actually studied these games. And instead of now just making clones, it actually looks like they understand what makes these games fun and why people enjoy playing them. And they're actually starting to appeal more and more to Western audiences. And like I said, this is genres across the board. We're talking first person shooters. We're talking extraction shooters. We're talking survival games. And all of these are coming and all of them look amazing. I mean, first off, we have Arena Breakout, which is basically a clone of Escape for Talkoff. However, the thing that actually makes Arena Breakout special is it actually looks like the developers of Arena Breakout actually understand what was fun about that game more than the developers did. So not only did they add a ton of features that people have been requesting for Escape from Tarkov, they actually sat down and came up with smart ways to make this game more accessible to your average gamer. And then the game runs like an absolute dream. There are no issues with the way it runs. It will basically run on any system out there. And this game is so optimized that we know a console port is just a matter of time. And once this game comes out on console, and it comes out on PC and it's free to play, then it's really going to start eating into Escape from Tarkov's player base. And I know what a lot of people are probably thinking, Battlestate Games is not really a Western developer. However, this is just one example. There are many more. Now, one of the games I've been following very closely is Delta Force Hawk Ops, because I actually grew up playing the original Delta Force games. They were some of the first online shooters I ever played. I remember playing this game back in the day and having to hit T when I was playing online to see how long it took to pop up in chat so I knew how far ahead I had to aim because we were all playing on like 56k modems and I played all of the Delta Force games so this immediately popped up on my radar as soon as it was announced and at first I thought this was just going to be a cheap Chinese clone and they were just using the name to hype it up however the more I'm starting to see about this game the more I realize that these developers are actually hardcore Delta Force fans and the game they are making really looks like a new generation of Delta Force. And make no mistake about it, this game right here is going right after Battlefield and Call of Duty's market. I mean, not only is this game free to play, it's basically three different games. You have the campaign, which is basically a remake of the Black Hawk Down movie and the original Delta Force Black Hawk Down game. And then you got a massive online battle mode that is basically just rush from Battlefield. And it looks way better than the current Battlefield games because it has the destruction levels of the Battlefield field games we all grew up with and loved that EA just somehow forgot about over the years. They think we want things like big tornadoes and yeah, that's cool. However, we want to absolutely demolish buildings and it looks like you can do this in this game and I see this drawing a lot of Battlefield players over. And then the final game mode for this game is basically Call of Duty DMZ and they actually brought in developers from Call of Duty DMZ with the main goal of recreating that game mode and making it better. And like I said, from what I'm hearing, this game
game is free to play. It has over 60 weapons, each with 60 attachments. It has throwback maps to the original Delta Force games. It looks like a great Battlefield competitor, and this is really going to take a chunk out of Call of Duty and Battlefield. But there's even more. We all know that Destiny has been having trouble. I mean, the expansion before this last one was an absolute stinker. Now, I'm hearing that the final shape is a lot better, and I've been trying to play it myself. However, I haven't really been able to get into campaign that much. But once again, we have another studio from the West that is targeting the same genre as Destiny, and it's about to take a massive chunk out of Destiny's player base. And this game is called The First Descendant. I've played the beta, and it was absolutely amazing. And unlike Western games, as soon as you load it up, it runs absolutely amazing right out of the gate. You don't even need to tweak the settings to have a great gameplay experience. And then on top of this, it seems like the perfect blend between the Destiny loot and shooter as well as Warframe. And just like all of these other games that I have announced, this game is going to be free to play. And then the last game I'm going to talk about today is a game that you can actually go on Steam and download the demo and try out yourself right now. And it's called Once Human. And this is basically coming for the survival game genre. And it's looking to take down games like Rust. And just like The Last Ascendant, I played this game and it runs absolutely amazing and it looks like they actually understand the genre. Now don't get me wrong, this is a way more streamlined survival experience and it leans more towards the RPG end of things. However, overall, this game is a very competent survival game. You got base building, you got really fun combat, and then on top of that, you can run out and do missions and level up with your friends. And the best thing about this game is they actually put in protection for new players. That way, they don't have to worry about grinding this game 24-7, or else if they leave, they're going to lose everything. And this is only the game side. If you actually look at the gaming industry as a whole and you look at companies like Tencent, then you will quickly realize that the Chinese are one of the biggest players in gaming right now by far. And with Western Studios for the last years just releasing flop after flop that has just pushed more and more fans away from genres they have traditionally dominated, it has opened them up for attack. And make no mistake about it, right now the gaming industry in the West is already wounded and it is the perfect time to strike. We have already seen massive layoffs across the gaming industry when it comes to Western games. I mean, we have seen Western Studios start to pull back on their projects and starting to focus on the basics and trying to rebuild their audience. And we already know that the gaming industry is ripe for a takeover right now because most of the top hits of this year have all been small indie games. So if this new wave of new Eastern games comes in and it actually is successful, this is basically just going to be like the D-Day invasion. And we could see the rise of the Eastern game studio just start to take over the whole gaming market. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that this is going to be the end for the Western game studios. However, I think this needs to be a wake up call that fans are not happy with the games they are producing right now. And I think they need to step back and just take a look at the gaming industry as a whole and start figuring out what gamers actually want to play, which I personally think is a good thing because I think over the last couple of years, we have seen Western developers just get way too powerful and start controlling way too many gaming studios. And it has pretty much just led them to be able to do whatever they want. We have haven't had a fair competition in the gaming industry for a long time and I think the invasion of the Asian studios in the gaming is going to present that challenge and they're going to have to fight for gamers once again and I think overall that this means we will finally start getting good games again. But as always I want to know what you think. Have you tried any of the games I've listed in this video? Let me know in the comments what you were playing and if you liked it. And as always if you enjoyed the video hit that like button. You don't have to but it really helps out the channel. And until then I'll catch you in some games.